Today we're going to learn about one of our other tools. So when we're in our on shape, okay, we're going to go into our practice folder and we're going to create our new document. Okay, this one is called Loft and Plane and your name. When we choose OK, it'll load in our workspace. All right, in this one, we're going to learn how to create some offset planes. So we have planes here. We need to be able to make more. And we're going to use the loft tool over here, which basically takes one shape and can merge it into another shape. So we're going to start with a sketch on our top surface. Okay, We can switch to top if that helps. We're going to make a polygon starting from our origin. We're going to click somewhere out here. We want it to still have six sides. So we click again and it'll keep that polygon. All right, if we want to dimension a polygon, there's a couple ways you can do it. All right, but I'm just going to choose one of the sides. Okay, bring our my cursor out, click. All right, and this is going to be a three inch side. And if you, as you notice, it automatically changes all of the rest of the sides to be the same as what we just made that one side. So this is our first sketch. So we say yes to our sketch one. We're going to change back to our angle. So now we need to be able to make a new plane for our next sketch to rest on. Okay, this one's new. Over on the side, okay, there is a plane tool. You drop down. If, it's, if it has a different one on, you may have to come back and click on plane. So we choose our plane. Okay, this is an offset. That means it's taking from one plane and pushing it up or down. So we're going to choose our top plane. It'll start to show. Okay, this little plane is a little bit above. We want this to be four inches above. We hit enter. It'll show you what it looks like. We can hit our green check to accept. I'll zoom out a little bit. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to actually sketch on this plane. So we choose our sketch tool, we chose our plane, we can look at it from the top again. If you notice, we do see our other shape, but this time we are going to add a rectangle, but we want to do a center point rectangle. Starting in the origin again. Okay, somewhere around here. For our dimensions, we'll dimension one side to be 3.5. Okay, for our top, we click on our top. Remember, you have to click again to drop. Oops, I clicked on the wrong thing. That's okay. If we can escape the dimension, we'll try again. We click on the line and we click it down to let it go. Okay, this side is going to be two and a half, 2.5. All right, this is it for that sketch. So we, again, accept our sketch. We can go back to our corner view. Okay, we're actually gonna do one more plane. Okay, so the plane tool, since we used that last here, is still the first one on. So we'll click on that. We want it offset from the plane we just made. This one wants to go two inches. We can hit enter to see, and then check to accept. All right, on this last surface, we have one more sketch to do on this plane. We're going to create a circle, okay, our center point circle. We can choose the top view again so we can look straight down at it. We click on our center. And we can click again to make it larger. So remember, though, if you do want to just type instead of needing to hit dimension and type, you can type in our values as long as it's in that white box. So this one is going to be a three and a half inch circle. All right. We accept our sketch. We finally again go back to our corner view. And now is when we can actually try and use that tool, All right? Our loft tool right here. And we select it, it opens up our loft box. It is going to make a new part, okay, by making this uh, from our sketches. And it asks you to choose your profiles. Okay, our profiles are going to be 
our hexagon here, our rectangle that starts to create, and then our circle above it. And as you notice, it starts to squish and twist these shapes. So from that hexagon through the shape of a rectangle up into our circular shape. Okay, so there are options down here um, that you can change that will uh, switch a little bit of how, oops, how your object works. Right now, don't worry about those. We will go through some more of those at a later time. But once you have it going through all three of your shapes, we can accept. As we look around here, we see that it twists and turns up into the shapes that we had. That is your final step here. Right? Make sure, again, take your screenshot of your whole screen, send that in to me, and you're good to go.